there are a variety of classic studies in neuroscience that support the viewpoint that some aspects of the mind are not material and that um, refute materialism. Uh, the first set of experiments uh, are experiments that show cerebral localization with certain kinds of neurological functions, but not with others. It's been known since the 19th century that for motor and sensory function, there are very specific locations in the brain that seem to mediate those functions. Uh, what if I move my hand? that is controlled by a specific part of my opposite cerebral hemisphere, and the area is, is, is quite discrete. Uh, vision is controlled by a, a very discrete area in the occipital lobes. However, higher intellectual functions, abstract thought, such as mathematics, such as contemplating um, ethics, uh, things involved in personality, uh, are not localized like that. That is, that there is no calculus center of my brain. Uh, there's no addition center in my brain. The brain seems to be necessary, ordinarily, for doing calculus and doing addition and thinking about concepts like justice and mercy and so on. But it's not localizable in any way near the same way that movement and sense and sensation is localizable. Uh, the belief that higher abstract thought was going to be localizable was held by materialists in the 19th century and they developed the theory of phrenology from that, the, as the idea that all, all of these individual higher intellectual functions had a spot in the brain that controlled them. And phrenology, of course, has been discredited. It's been shown to be wrong. And it was wrong because only certain things in the brain seem to be mediated by the brain. Other aspects of the mind don't have a spot in the brain that seems to give rise to them. The implication there is that they're not really material, that they're an immaterial power of being able to reason and use logic. Uh, and frankly, that's a very old dualist idea. It was an idea proposed by Aristotle, uh, an idea um, as part of Thomistic philosophy. So for, for thousands of years, dualists have predicted that, and modern neuroscience uh, confirms that.